Hello, Hoboken. This is Namaste with Dr. I. Caregivers, guardians, parents, it is Friday and you made it. It's almost three o'clock, those computers are almost shutting down, and you want to give yourself a great giant hug because you have made it to this part of the week that you never thought you could make it to, and you'll make it to tomorrow, I promise. So today is a new day and our theme is new gratitude. Right now we're living in a world of scarcity. Do we have enough? Do I have enough food in my house? Do I have enough sanity left in my body working with my kids all day? Do I have enough toilet paper? Where can I get more toilet paper? Do we have enough energy? Do we have enough wits about us to last through the weekend? All of this focuses on scarcity. So today we're gonna to totally take a step back from that and we're gonna step into abundance knowing and recognizing that we actually have enough and that we are enough and we are gonna make it today and tomorrow and the next day. So today we're gonna do some mindful movements that really open up the heart chakra so we can let in some appreciation, some love, some energy and have enough to give back out. So I want you to take a comfortable position on your floor, on your mat, on your bath towel. We're gonna to get into what is called a tabletop position. From here, your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips, your back is neutral. Looking forward, we're going to inhale, drop our belly, look up, and pop our tailbone up. In a cow position. Exhaling, you're going to tuck your chin, curve your spine like a Halloween cat. Look towards your belly button, really stretch out your neck and shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, really stretch your neck out as much as you can. Inhale and exhale. Next, we're gonna to go to our top of our knees. If this is uncomfortable, put a towel underneath. Spread about one fist apart. From here, I'll show you first straight on and then sideways. We're gonna open up our chest, our heart chakra, look up towards the sky, extend our arms and breathe in with a micro back bend. So from the side, inhale, exhale. And if you have the flexibility, you can continue down to touch your heels. And if not, you can also just stay right here and just open up from shoulder to shoulder. Two more breaths. and then slowly release back up to center. From here, resume a crisscross position, lifting one arm up to the sky, the other hand behind your back, look over your shoulder and cross to your knee, looking behind your body. Twist out some of that toxin, that stress, that worry. Back to center. One hand behind your back, the other up and over, twisting over the other side. Inhale, and with the next exhale, twist a little further. Ringing out that stress, opening up your heart. Back to center. We'll do one more on each side silently. Excellent. From here, we're going to just sit down, eventually lie on our back, hold on to our shins, and rock left to right, massaging out any kinks we have in our lower back. 
like a little egg, you're gonna make a ball, hold on to your shins, roll to the right, and roll to the left. Stay in any position that feels good for you a little longer. When you are finished, place both feet flat on the floor, hands down, extend your legs, give yourself a nice stretch, and then lower your hands down, palms facing up to Shavasana, corpse pose. From here, I'll be getting up to guide you through a small meditation, but you can stay on your back. If you wish to sit up, that's all right as well. But for now, place one hand on your heart, the other hand on top of this hand. Close your eyes and start to breathe deeply through your nose. Exhale through your mouth with a sigh. <sighs> Inhaling appreciation. Exhaling stress. With your eyes closed, inhaling and exhaling, I want you to imagine Hoboken right now and the parts of Hoboken you love the most, what you are grateful for in this community, whether it is your neighborhood, the schools your children go to, the neighbors down the hall, the promenade walk, the uniqueness that is ours. Inhale, gratitude for your community. Exhale. Stay in that vision for two more breaths. Next. I want you to envision a specific individual in your community that you are grateful for. That person might be a family member. It could be the school principal who's posting goofy videos that make you laugh. It could be a coworker. It could be a stranger that offered kindness today. With your eyes closed, breathing in gratitude, Sending out appreciation specifically to this person. Picture yourself with this person. Offering them the deep level of thanks that you feel. Two inhales and exhales envisioning this. Last but not least, we will extend our gratitude to the person who needs it the most and receives it the least, to yourself. Think about all that you are and all that you do for your family and your community and your school and yourself and thank yourself for showing up every day, for doing the best you can in difficult times. Inhaling and exhaling, send yourself love. Two more on your own, saying to yourself, I love you, thank you. Fluttering your eyes open, coming to a seated position, looking into this camera, this screen, sending out our love and appreciation to our community, our Hoboken community. Put your hands together at your chest and join me in saying namaste from my home and heart to yours. Be safe, be well, be connected. Namaste.